beloved. We're gathered here this afternoon in the sight of God and this company to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Hi, I'm Heather, I'm Lee's sister, and growing up I took my role as big sister probably way too seriously because when Emily was born, she was not my parents' baby, she was not my little sister, Emily was my baby. I know it's kind of been a whirlwind year for these guys. Uh, you know, they met last summer, they got engaged, and then they bought a house together recently. You know, it would be my you know, advice to you guys would be to set reasonable expect expectations for you know, what you want out of each other and live by those expectations each day. Keep things simple and avoid overcomplicating things. And finally, if you grow strong in faith together, there's nothing that you can't get through in life. Emily, it didn't take very long in our dating for me to know that it was the start of something special. A little over a year later, I have found a love in you that I never dreamt I would have. A love that is based in our faith in God and is upheld by our commitment and devotion to each other. Justin, I am so honored to stand here before you today as your bride. I humbly thank God for blessing me with you in my life, as you are more than I could have ever hoped for. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. And what comes to a relationship, especially one that's moving forward with intention, the foundation needs to be strong. It needs to be on the rock. The rock is Christ. So for the relationship that's gonna to lead to marriage, to be able to stand and even flourish when the rains come, the storms, the winds, it needs to be founded on that rock that's Christ. You demonstrate God's love to me, and for that I am truly grateful, and I promise to use God's example of love in our marriage. I promise to stand by you during all seasons of life. I love you with my whole heart, and I am so excited for our lives together. Emily Visker, I promise to love and cherish you all the days of my life. I promise to be your provider and supporter. I promise to hold you in the storms of life, and above all, I promise to lead our family in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. This ring I give thee in token and pledge of our constant faith, of our constant faith, and abiding love, and abiding love. With this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. For the very first time, it is my uh, distinct pleasure and honor and privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Justin Albrecht. <laughs> So, Justin, welcome to our family. I'm so thankful to call you my brother, and I feel so much peace in knowing my sister has a strong, faithful husband. And Emily, you are not my baby, and you're not even my little sister anymore. You're my sister. You're my best friend. You're going to be an amazing wife. I love you both so much. So let's raise our glass to Emily and Justin. Justin and Emily, congratulations. We're so happy for you both. I could not be more happy for you today, and now I'm going to cry, so I love you both. Emily and Justin, I'm so happy for you. I couldn't imagine any other way. This is exactly how you guys should have had your day. We just wish you many years of happiness. God bless you guys. Love you love so you much. Love you guys. Looking forward to everything God has for you. 